Good morning, everyone. Out on the frigid steel gray waters off the coast of Newfoundland, something truly unbelievable has surfaced. Local fisherman Halur Antoniusen was navigating his vessel Saputi through the familiar morning fog, but something on the horizon was different. It wasn't the usual brilliant white of a passing iceberg. Instead, a colossal shadowy mass loomed ahead, absorbing the morning light rather than reflecting it. It was a sight so strange, so out of place, that Antoniusen said he had to rub his eyes to make sure he wasn't dreaming. This was no ordinary ice. He described it as a mountain of obsidian floating silently in the North Atlantic. It was a jagged, towering structure, but its color was a deep, unsettling black, veined with what looked like streaks of dark sediment. The sheer scale of it was breathtaking, but its unnatural appearance sent a shiver down his spine that had nothing to do with the morning chill. He grabbed his radio, his voice trembling slightly as he reported the unbelievable sight. He knew, instinctively, that this was something the world needed to see. Once the images went viral, the scientific community was thrown into a state of stunned excitement. Dr. Lev Tarasov, a leading glaciologist at the University of British Columbia, was one of the first to respond publicly. I had to check the date on my calendar, he admitted in a live interview this morning. I thought it must be an April Fool's joke. We see dirty icebergs all the time, ice streaked with rock and sediment. But a monolith of this size with this uniform, deep black coloration, it's unheard of. It's the kind of thing you read about in historical ship logs and dismiss as exaggeration. Seeing it with our own eyes is frankly paradigm shifting for our field. The reaction was immediate and global. Phones at oceanographic institutes from Halifax to Helsinki were ringing off the hook. Scientists were scrambling to organize expeditions hoping to get a research vessel to the site before the iceberg melts or drifts into treacherous waters. Dr. Lena Petrova, a climatologist with the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution, expressed a sense of urgency. This isn't just a curiosity, it's a time capsule, she explained. This iceberg contains information about geological processes. We need to sample it, study its composition, and understand its origin before it's gone forever. It's a race against time. So, what exactly is a black iceberg? We've been talking to experts all morning to get to the bottom of this. Dramatic comparison shot of white versus black ice. Unlike white ice made of compressed snow and bubble-filled ice, black icebergs are formed from a different kind of ice. They originate at the very bottom of a glacier. As a glacier grinds its way over the land, it scrapes up enormous amounts of rock, dirt, sediment. This material gets frozen into the base of the glacier under immense pressure, creating a dense, dark, and sediment-rich ice that is completely different from the purer ice above it. Basal ice is typically bubble-free. That lack of bubbles is a key part of its appearance. Without the tiny air bubbles that scatter light and make ice look white, there's another fascinating theory being discussed, one that connects these icebergs to volcanic activity. This ash then settles on the surface of the glacier and gets buried by subsequent snowfall, eventually becoming compressed into dark layers within the ice presenting as a black or striped giant. You might be wondering, if glaciers are always grinding up rock, why aren't black icebergs more common? The answer lies in a combination of geology, physics, and sheer luck. The conditions required to create and release a massive, uniformly black iceberg are incredibly specific and rare. First, the glacier must be flowing over a landscape rich in dark-colored rock, like basalt or other volcanic materials. Not all bedrock is dark, so the glacier has to be in the right geological location to pick up enough material. This geographical requirement alone significantly limits the potential sources for such phenomena. Furthermore, calving usually favors upper layer ice. Basal ice often melts before reaching the sea. For a large piece of basal ice to break off intact, the glacier's front must be structured in a very particular way. Then it must survive the journey out to the open ocean without fracturing. This could have been triggered by an underwater earthquake, a sudden surge in the glacier's speed, or unusually warm ocean water undercutting the calving face. This confluence of factors, right geology, right dynamics, right calving event, makes this sighting extraordinary. Scientists are comparing it to witnessing a rare celestial event, like a daytime comet. For Haller Antoniusen to have been in that exact spot on that exact morning is another layer of incredible fortune. Beyond the sheer spectacle, this black iceberg serves as a powerful symbol in the age of climate change. While we can't definitively say this event was caused by global warming without further study, it certainly fits into a broader and more troubling pattern. 
Glaciers are like planetary archives, preserving ancient air, dust, and even biological material. As they melt, they are releasing these stored records and potential hazards into our environment. Scientists have already found ancient microbes, long dormant viruses, and trapped pollutants being released. Culturally, the iceberg has already taken on a life of its own. On social media, it's the goth iceberg or a Darth Vader comparison. But for coastal communities, it holds a deeper meaning, a somber warning from the Earth itself. It forces a conversation about our relationship with the planet. This discovery beckons us to look closer and to accelerate research before more secrets are lost to warming seas. It is a call to action, scientifically and culturally. This single dark monolith asks us to reflect on the immense power of nature and our impact upon it. We've been absolutely captivated by this story all morning, and we want to know what you think. What was your first reaction when you saw the images? Does it feel like a scientific marvel, a warning sign, or something else entirely? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for joining us today. We'll be following this story closely as scientists begin their research. For now, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more updates on this and other stories from around the world. Thank you for watching the video.